New information continues to come into the Wavy newsroom. Our team continues to dig through the details of the deadly grocery store shooting today. Here is what we do know. That shooting happened around 8 this morning at a Farm Fresh grocery store on Norge Lane in James City County. One man is dead, another in jail facing second-degree murder charges. The store remained closed this evening. Tell on your sides, Matt Gregory is live there now. Matt, there's a lot of new information coming in about the alleged shooter and victim. What have police confirmed? Brandy, police have confirmed tonight that the shooter they believe is 55 year old Brian Alexander, uh, Brian Alexander Hicks of Woodbridge, Virginia. And they also believe that that man shot 34 year old of, New, of Providence Forge, Virginia, named Gabriel or Gabriel Maness. Now, as far as people we talk to up here, they tell us that they don't expect anything like this to happen around here ever, any type of shooting. So to happen at a grocery store like this, they still can't believe it happened. And on top of that, police say tonight they don't even believe they think they don't even believe that the shooter and the victim knew each other. A deadly shooting, no matter where, brings the same emotions to a scene fear and shock. I never would have expected a, a shooting in our local farm fresh for sure. But inside this farm fresh on Norge Lane, the carnage took place in open view. As you can understand, it's a very traumatic event. Uh, we have an, a number of uh, employees and customers that were in the store, uh, so this is very traumatizing for them. According to James City County Deputy Police Chief Steve Rubino, around 8 o'clock Sunday morning, Brian Hicks of Woodbridge, Virginia, walked into a middle aisle in the store, pulled out a 45 caliber gun, and shot at 34-year-old Gabriel Maness of Providence Forge. There were people inside the store that saw the suspect uh, shooting the gun. Okay, so and then call the police. Within minutes, police rushed to the store. Officers arrested Hicks, but Maness died before medics could save him. Throughout the morning, James City County detectives investigated the scene inside. We're trying to determine whether or not there was any prior relationship, whether or not the victim and the suspect knew each other. Police say they haven't found evidence of an argument. No reason why Hicks would shoot a man to death more than two hours from his home. The Farm Fresh store will stay closed throughout Sunday. Shoppers not ready to go back inside either. It's a shock, and um, you know I'm, I'm a little concerned about you know finding out what happened. So I know if it's going to be safe to go back in there again, or if we have to worry about where else we go to. A senseless public shooting with no clear reason why it happened at a Norge Farm Fresh. Now, according to uh, police, Hicks was just booked into Virginia Re Peninsula Regional Jail just uh, about a half hour ago. Folks that I talked around here say this whole area was on high alert right after the shooting happened. In fact, the Catholic Church just across the street on Norge Lane went on lockdown, I'm told, by a parishioner for at least a half hour. In Norge, Virginia, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side. And people continue to respond to the shootings on social media. Danae Armstrong writes, quote, Oh my gosh, can't even go to the dang grocery store anymore without getting shot while Craig Rogers says, oh Lord, this is so sad and I'm praying for the family. Cindy Sapienzo says, this has become such a crazy, sad, unsafe world. Don't forget, you can get the latest anytime on wavy.com.